the book as a child and laboured my way through it. But I've always been obsessed with, with the story and the film and everything. About three or four years ago I thought, oh, this would be really good fun to do as a play with four people in it. Then <clears throat> met Sean, who seemed quite interested in the idea, and I'd seen his work and I thought it would be a really great idea. So that's how he's involved. First of all, what you have to do when you uh, decide to join forces with someone like Mr. Patrick Barlow and attempt to do a show like Ben-Hur, where we have 12,059 characters represented by only four actors, is the very, very first thing you have to do is choose your actors carefully. And uh, so they've got to be very good. They've got to be adept at so many things. Uh, uh, comedy, first and foremost, but, but also actually behind that... Uh, Anyone who's really properly good at comedy is actually a very, very good actor. You need brilliant actors who can uh, be one person, then be another person, then be a stool, then be a, a, a 5,000 people in, <laughs> you know, listening to Jesus, then be... Um, you just need really good actors. He's answered the question. It is, it's, it's entirely up to... It's got to have a brilliant script, of course. But, uh, and quite brilliant direction. And brilliant direction. But we have got a fantastic, and we'd spent a long time auditioning, and I mean, a long time. We waited and found the perfect people, really. Well, it's a very small space, which is quite difficult when you have a huge epic like this, even though it's only four people. There's lots of costume changes, there's lots of props, there's lots of set, <clears throat> back cloth things floating in. I think the benefit, though, of doing That's such an epic oh, story in, in a small, beautiful, 200-seat, ex-watermill uh, theatre is that, theatrically, it's already sort of exciting and interesting because the, the, the story is so epic and big. Our acting style is a melange of um, certainly the epicness and the bigness and the sort of melodrama of those 50s film epics and uh, intermixed with a whole lot of frankly ludicrous nonsense um, but it's, it's, it's actually I think going to really really help the show that um, it's such a, it's like it's like trying to put the Incredible Hulk into a, into a little suit uh, that you know it's going to really really burst out and uh, hopefully delight the audience. Thank <laughs> you.